Welcome back to my basement, or as I like to call it, my audition room. Hey, it's Tom Clark with AVP Video Production Services. And remember, I'm also an actor, which is why we're doing this series. So, you want to be an actor? All right, we got ourselves ready to audition last week because we set you up with the camera, lighting, audio, backdrop, and of course, some editing software. Now what? Well, now it's up to us to tape ourselves and send in the best audition possible. But before you actually get picked to audition, there are websites that you're going to need to sign up for that they call casting sites. And your agent will tell you which ones that they recommend and the ones that they use. It used to be an agent would pull several headshots and then just send the packet to the client. But now, well, it's all done digitally. For example, I'm on Actors Access, 800 Casting, and Casting Networks. They're pretty much considered the three powerhouses of casting sites. But I've also added Active Pitch because they are coming up strong. Now, either an agent will get a call from someone looking for talent and they can send the client there, or they'll send them links to your profile and the client will choose who they like. Sometimes there's going to be multiple people pulled from the site for a casting because they're all in that same kind of category of what the client is looking for. That's when the battle begins between all the actors trying to get the part. I'll tell you right up front, it does cost a little money for some. Now, Actors Access is free, Casting Networks is $15 a month, and 800 Casting has a yearly fee of $20, plus some of the sites will have upgrades to add more pictures and more videos. But for now, let's just focus on getting you on there. As I said earlier, uh, that was another video a while back. Remember, there's no such thing as a free lunch, but all it takes is one good job to pay for all of it for the year. Now, you might just be starting out and you can't handle the expenses, so pick one or two. Ask your agent what they prefer and then start there. It's a marathon not a sprint. Take it slow. They'll help you get set up and answer all your questions. But remember, I'm always here to help if you need it. The client then sends a script and or actions to the agency for the talent to have them audition. This is where you come in with your setup. You'll get an outline of the project, a script and directions to follow, and an idea of what they're looking for. Then most of the time, you'll get two takes plus a slate to put on tape to send to the agent who then sends it to the client. However, sometimes these come from a casting person who will get the file sent directly to them and in turn makes recommendations to the client as to who they think are the best selections for their project. Your job is to give the best performance and send in your best takes for the job. Have a good reader with you that's going to be reading the lines opposite your character off camera. That is important. Okay, that's going to do it for part two of the audition. We'll put it all together, all three parts, and then wrap it up next time. So, I guess that's a wrap.